so I'm going to try to get this over with as quickly and easily as possible. The scene is called Phyllis's Chocolate Covered Cherries, and it's about Haemophilus influenzae. So the story of the scene is that some kids are trick-or-treating at Phyllis's candy shop. You may notice that we're using a lot of reddish and pink hues for this scene. This is to help you remember that Haemophilus is a gram-negative bacteria. So we've named the store Phyllis's Candy Shop after Haemophilus, or Haemophilus. So let's get the store name up there. Haemophilus is often described by its characteristic coxobaciliary shape. This means its shape is in between a cocci and a bacillus. To remember this, we're going to put a big candy machine right up front, dispensing candies that are in a coxobaciliary shape. We've also made the machine in the same shape, and we'll put a big sticker on the front of it with an enlarged image of the candy so you can clearly see its shape. Haemophilus requires a special media to grow. You should know that it's grown on chocolate auger, which requires the addition of two special factors, factor 5, which is NAD, and factor 10, which is hematin. We're going to give you an easy way to keep this all in order. We'll make the candy shop specialize in chocolate to help you remember chocolate auger, and we'll add it here on the window. Now we have to illustrate factor 5 and 10 and give you a way to remember what each of them are. First, for factor 5, we're going to turn this circle above the candy machine into a nickel. A nickel is worth 5 cents for factor 5, and the name nickel will help you remember nicotinamide in nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD. So you can make the connection that factor 5 is NAD. Okay, what about hematin being factor 10? Well, if you remember the 10, you can remember the factor is hematin, or hematin. So to remember factor 10, we'll have Phyllis selling her chocolates for 10 cents, or one dime. We'll add the sign here for now, but we'll draw the chocolates in a little later.